Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a pretty big hair change, which is why I'm talking to you and not making this like my normal hair transformations. I'm nervous but excited for this and I kind of wanted to just like, I don't know, I just wanted to make this more of like a, a vlog type video. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> As you guessed from the title and thumbnail, I'm going to be cutting all of the color off like I've done before and I have a vision for what I want the end result to be, but I also have no expectations for myself. I have no idea if I'm going to be able to actually achieve that vision. So that makes this a little bit more fun, a little bit more scary, and hopefully a little bit more entertaining for you guys. <laughs> but first, a word from our sponsor. So a huge thank you goes to Function of Beauty for sponsoring this hair video with some hair care. But not just any hair care, this is 100% customizable by you. There's no parabens, sulfates, GMOs, or toxins, and it's 100% vegan and cruelty free. It's super easy. You fill out a two minute quiz about your hair type and hair goals, and then you choose your color, fragrance, and the name that's printed on the bottle. You can even say how strong you want the fragrance to be, which I thought was a really cool extra because the scent can really make or break a product, especially if you're sensitive to strong fragrances. So for me, I'm so in love with being able to customize my shampoo and conditioner. I have a whole graveyard of bottles of the ones that I've tried over the years, since I've always struggled to choose between color protection, damage control, or even just the one that smelled the best. Partly because I change my hair so much, like I'm gonna be doing in this video. <laughs> but that's also what's great about Function of Beauty, because I can change my hair goals at any time. So when I I inevitably change my hair and need to focus on something else, I can do that. But for the stuff that I have now, I said that my hair type is wavy, my hair structure is medium, and my scalp is dry. My hair goals are color protection, thermal protection, anti-frizz, straighten, and soothe scalp. So what made Function of Beauty stick is that after a few weeks of testing, I noticed that my hair was smoother and softer, I could run my hands and combs through it easier, the dye faded slower, and my dry scalp was feeling better. On top of that, I'm obsessed with this scent. I went with eucalyptus and mint, and it is absolutely the best choice for me. I seriously love it so much. The next time I order, I'm definitely bumping up the scent level to strong. Function of Beauty also offers a hair mask, a leave-in treatment, and hair serum that are also 100% customized to your goals and can be added to any order. I went with the hair mask because my damaged hair can definitely use the extra attention and hydration, and I've really enjoyed this one so far. On top of being able to choose basically everything about these products, you can also choose how often you get them, since Function of Beauty offers a subscription service where you can get ongoing deliveries of your custom form as often as you like. You can cancel at any time, or like I mentioned before, you can change your formula by switching up the goals and scents as often as you want, so you're not locked into anything. And lastly, in order to be more earth-friendly, Function of Beauty recently transitioned all boxes to 100% recyclable craft packaging, and all plastic bottles to post-consumer recycled bottles instead of new virgin plastic that comes from fossil fuels. So that means less waste, less environmental burden, and less plastic in landfills. Awesome. So go check out Function of Beauty and follow the link in my description for 20% off your first order. One last thank you to Function of Beauty for sponsoring this video, and now let's change some hair. Okay, so back to the task at hand. And so the reason why I want to cut all my fucking hair off is, I mean, I, I, I love to change my hair, so there's that. Um, I want to, there's that. Uh, my hair is extremely damaged, so there's that. I can show you guys kind of what's up. I'll try to show you. So when I bleached my hair last fall, um, something just didn't go right. Um, I think I just suck at bleaching, but this time especially was, was there's a lot more breakage than I normally used to have. Um, a lot of the comments said that I shouldn't have used coconut oil, although a lot of other comments said that I sh that I that it was good that I did that. But regardless of the coconut oil, I do know that I left the bleach on longer than I should have, so I'm kind of thinking that was my issue, was I was just leaving the bleach on too long. But one thing I'll try to show you is that I have a lot of broken hair, and a lot of it has snapped off where the green was. So you can kind of see it here, but it's just like a lot of little strands that are basically just the brown. 
and it's all throughout my head that I can find these little ones that I've just basically snapped off. And so that's a big reason why I want to cut it super short is to just, you know, get rid of the super damaged shit that I don't want. And so then that brings me to the other reason why I want to do this, and I just realized I don't like having any length of hair. <laughs> I never wear my hair down. I always, always wear it up in a bun, and I hate the feeling of having hair on my neck. I don't know what's up with that, um, but like especially the past couple months, I, it drives me insane. So legitimately, unless I have my extensions in, my hair is always up. It's always in a bun. Usually I go for just a classic messy bun. And I, I just never wear it down. I never wear it down. And so I really want to cut it so short that this hair doesn't reach down here. That's my main thing. I also just want like a short mohawk. I just want like a, a short little a little pixie death hawk. I just, it sounds really nice and I want to do it. <laughs> so that's kind of my three, my three reasons. Um, damage, I fucking hate the feeling of having hair, I guess. Um, and I think it would be cute and fun. So we're gonna go for it. As some of you know, I don't know how to do hair at all. <laughs> um, and I especially don't know how to cut hair. Um, I've never tried to legitimately cut my hair before. Usually I'm just cutting like a blunt amount of length off or the, like the last time I cut all of the like color off, I just kind of went at it. <laughs> um, but this time I'm gonna see if I can try to like cut the style. I don't know, we're just gonna see. But first up is I'm actually gonna shave the sides. I'll kind of speed us through that so then we can get to the fun part, which is cutting it all off. That's done. Feeling a lot better. It had definitely been a while since I had shaved my sides. Um, and I totally forgot to say at the start of this that this is not a tutorial. <laughs> I think I kind of alluded to that a little bit already. Um, but I wanted to say it at the start just because in case anybody lands on this that's looking for a tutorial, this isn't one. <laughs> I'm not good at anything, especially when it comes to hair or explaining what I'm doing. So, oh good, I shaved a lot of hair off right there. Also, this can be our before shot for the length. Um, yeah, this is, this is how long my hair is right now. You could kind of see it earlier, but yeah, this is, this is the before, I guess. Alright, so next I'm just going to wash my hair and get all of the little shaved bits off, and then we will be all set to start cutting my hair. Okay, so next up is to, I guess, just kind of cut most of the length off. Um, and then after that, I think I might try to kind of touch it up and do something a little bit more specific. I was debating where to start, but I think I'll just start in the back. We can just see how it goes. Yeah. So I'm just gonna section off the top a little bit. A lot of it? I don't know. <laughs> Stupid. Okay, that was like the worst first cut I could have possibly done. <laughs> I told you I don't know how to cut hair. <laughs> that wasn't a lie. What did I even cut here? That's so fucking funny. I'm trying to like show you guys at the same time, which is impossible. Okay, I think my technique is gonna go a little bit too slow for me. So 
so I might try to take bigger sections. Okay, sorry to those at home. This technique is pissing me off too. I don't like this. Okay, I'm just gonna do that to the rest of the back and then check in after. Okay, maybe came up with a better system for doing the back. We will see. most of the length off the back. I think now I'll try to like actually cut it into something. My mirror that I have set up is definitely in the wrong spot for me being right-handed. So at first I thought I was gonna try to like really like section and try to like do it like a real hair stylist would. Um, but I think I'm just gonna have to fucking just fuck around because I, I can't do it. I just can't for the life of me comb out sections and pull out sections in this setup because my arm is blocking my entire view and my mirror should be here. Oh well. Oh well. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna try to try to do something. I don't know. see where where this I can't even I can't this is funny good but who cares so I think next up is just to try to get the length off of the the top slash front and then basically cut it the same length ish I don't know I'm just gonna cut all of this off But, you know, kind of gets the job done. At least started, gets the job started. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is basically the same kind of technique that I did for the back, I guess, um, which is to just split it in half and go from there. I didn't necessarily want to do it this way. I was watching videos on pixie cuts and some, some people would kind of do it like this, but a lot of people would not do it this way. We're just gonna see how this goes and if this can be a way to do what I wanna do. I don't know. I don't know. Oh yeah, they do it like out. Isn't it supposed to be out? I'm doing up. Okay, let's try. Oh yeah, okay, I think, is that, is that the thing? You go out and then you bring it up like that? I don't know. So I think I'm just gonna leave my bangs alone for right now. And we'll do the other side. I think what I want to do 
do is just like get my bangs to just kind of chill for a second. But then the rest need to get some of this green off. vision was <laughs> um, it's at least short I have no idea how I would style this as of right now but I do love that there's no hair on my neck <laughs> like I do I'm really into that right now so I don't know what to do I'm gonna leave it alone for now I'll probably just end up wearing it like this okay yeah I'm just gonna clean up and then I can come back and either fix it more or I don't know I don't know you'll see okay it's the next morning excuse my face for looking like it's the next morning um, but I just tried to style my hair and um, <laughs> this is what I came up with um, yeah I'll just I kind of tried to separate it to try to give it to try to like you know show that it's a mohawk yeah but it's really bad <laughs> um, I want to like get rid of this green here but there's also a part of me that really wishes I had a two inch clipper attachment because then I would just buzz it all off um, I tried to like keep bangs but I don't know if I'm a bangs person and it's just it's just all way too long like it just all really needs to be way shorter but I think that just my hair it's just like too thick and too full and I really need to like if it, this is gonna be the length I need to thin it out so much yeah I don't know I don't think the back looks too awful besides the sides um, from this from this side it's like not I don't hate it as much as I hate this side and so if I want to fix it at all right now, I have to decide right now because I have to go like do stuff today. I was thinking maybe I could just like use a bunch of t like t t use a bunch of tiny rubber bands and tie it back. So I'm going to do that, see what that looks like. Um, otherwise I could totally go for like an e-boy look. <laughs> 
Oh boy, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I, oh, I kind of want to just like buzz it all off. Actually, I'm at least just gonna try to get this screen off because I hate it. Okay, now I'm gonna see what happens if I just clip it back. Okay, so I was able to clip it back. <laughs> Oh my god, this sucks, so I'm just, this is how I deal with baby hairs, I just fucking cut them off. There we go, that's better. <laughs> okay, well I look like an egg. Okay, I'm just gonna have to leave it like this. Um, I feel ridiculous. I, I hate it a lot. <laughs> um, I'm either going to buy a longer clipper attachment and just buzz it all, or I'm gonna go to a professional who can cut a pixie cut because I surely cannot. So here's my little fucking weird ass mohawk for now. Um, yeah. All right, so with that, I think that this video is done um, because I, I just can't deal with it anymore. <laughs> I am excited about having really short hair, but I'm more excited to have it be fixed eventually. So who knows what it will look like, but hopefully it will look better than this. <laughs> Thank you again to Function of Beauty for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to check my link in the description and all that good stuff. Also feel free to let me know what you think of my hair. Uh, let me know what you thought of my technique. Please just give me everything you got in the comments. Let me hear it. And so with that, thank you for watching. I hope you liked it and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!